How does the CTA keep its rail network from freezing over? Hi everyone, welcome to a brand new Trains Are Awesome video. I'm Tom, and today, let's talk about the weather. So, me personally, I am not a huge fan of the winter. Sorry guys, I don't know what to tell you. The snow and the sub-zero temperatures, they just don't spark joy. And to be completely fair, this year it's been a reasonably mild winter here in Chicago, but that's no guarantee every year. Nevertheless, there are many things that make winter a little bit more bearable. Chicago is a great place to celebrate the holidays. Under one of my Christmas videos this past year, a loyal subscriber gave me the following recommendations. I'm proud to say they're all checked off, except for experiencing the L in snow. However, the other day I was at Western Station on the Blue Line. Well, that Western Station. The tracks were covered in a light layer of powder, and the CTA sent me their best for the full experience. This made me wonder. Really, there's nothing that gets in the way of transportation more than snow does. You ever see people drive in it and think to yourself, didn't they drive in this exact same weather last year too? Yet somehow, the CTA usually seems to have no issues running in the cold. So what are some things that the CTA does to winterproof its operations? To start out, Trains are surprisingly good at dealing with varying weather conditions, particularly if they are electric trains. The sheer weight of a train means that even in rainy conditions, the steel wheels will not lose friction on the rails. As a little side rant, I used to live in the Netherlands, and while we have a great train network there, it doesn't snow a lot, so when they do forecast snow, the railways will preemptively cancel a bunch of trains, inconveniencing everyone. I remember one time though, the country got hit by a surprise snowstorm, and that day there were barely any cancellations and all my trains were running on time. That anecdotal evidence goes to show, in a train versus snow matchup, the train's usually gonna win. Of course, we have to be fair and say that trains aren't entirely invincible. For example, the brakes will begin to be affected when exposed to extremely low temperatures for a long time. Nevertheless, compared to cars or airplanes, a train is about the closest you're gonna get to invincible. Rather than the trains themselves, weather is a much bigger threat to the infrastructure that trains run on. For example, in extreme heat, the steel rails can expand. In Italy, they solve this by covering the rails in a layer of white paint which reflects light. Guys, you got me dreaming about a warm place again. We're here to talk about the CTA in the winter. So one thing that can happen is that ice gets stuck in the switches, or snow can build up on tracks. The CTA has installed heaters in their switches and there are snow plows mounted onto the trains to push snow away. The biggest problem is perhaps ice on the third rail. CTA trains are electric, but they don't run on overhead electrification. Instead, there's an electrified third rail off to the side of the tracks. A shoe mounted on the train is in constant contact with the rail, which picks up electricity that is used to power the train. However, when it snows, a layer of ice can begin to accumulate on the third rail. This breaks the contact between the shoe and the rail, leaving the train without power. No power means it can't run, but also that stuff like the lights and heaters won't work. Not good. It's essential that ice is kept off the rail. All CTA trains have sleet scrapers on them. On six of the eight L lines, there is a period of a few hours every night with no trains. 
At night, a special diesel locomotive can run and spread anti-icing solution onto the third rail. I'll explain why I said anti-ice rather than de-ice in a little bit. The red and blue lines, however, run 24-7, and because of that, the de-icing installation has to be installed onto passenger trains that are in regular service. And as my luck would have it, I got the opportunity to ride along on one of these anti-icing trains on the blue line. I first noticed something was up when the driver gestured me to use the back door rather than the front ones. Once I got on, I saw why. The front seating area was occupied by this elaborate mess of anti-icing equipment. The front pair doors had been disabled and were open at a crack to accommodate this. Nice job blocking a wheelchair space, CTA. So here's how this all works. The big barrels contain a special anti-icing mixture, tailor-made for third rails. A tube connects them to these boxes, which control the rate at which the substance is pumped onto the tracks. The tubes continue through the floor of the train and end up by the third rail shoe. A nozzle squirts the substance onto the third rail. Belmont is next. Doors open on the left at Belmont. The company that provides the technology is called Midwest. Makes sense, lots of snow and ice here. Their partnership with the CTA dates back to 1988, and today they provide anti-icing solutions for many railroads and transit agencies in the United States. They market their ice slicer product as anti-icing rather than de-icing because you apply this to the third rail to prevent ice from forming rather than to remove ice. The advantage of this is that it uses a lot less of the substance than a traditional de-icer. CTA trains are supposed to spread this onto the third rail when cold conditions are forecasted. The scrapers can then take care of whatever ice does end up forming. One final advantage is that Midwest's anti-icing solution is non-toxic and non-corrosive, making it a more environmentally friendly option. These are the ingredients, and no, I will not be reading them out loud because we really don't need to give the pronunciation commenters any new material to work with. Anyways. Now you know a little bit about how the CTA abolishes ice. If you learned something new today, or if you just like what you saw, please subscribe to Trains Are Awesome. We have a Patreon as well, plus a super cool Instagram. Finally, we just launched a Facebook account, so now you can share these videos with your mom too. I'm ready to say goodbye to winter, but to you all, I'll say see you next time.